welcome back to another video. So I do have another haul. This is one that's really, I'm really, really excited about because I have been wanting these products for so long and I've been kind of working with what I have for a long time to save stuff up and to really put myself in a good position. And I don't know, although 2020 has been a mess, like a humongous, like just mess, it's just been so much going on this year. Um... In some ways, it kind of has been my year because personal goals I've been able to reach this year um, where I wasn't able to last year. And I was kind of like feeling down about it, but I don't know. So you will tell you, you know, this year has been a blessing and a curse. Um, both have been true for me, but I also do like to see the value in things and not just be. Um, so down all the time and look at things so negatively because you never get anywhere in life thinking about events or things that happen to you like that. So, okay. So without me going ahead and like rambling on, basically what I got you all was I got the Kiara Sky Beyond Pro Volume 2 Lamp. I also bought, let me take you all off. I also bought the rechargeable pack. And, you guys, I also got, I'm going to put back up real quick. I'm sorry. I also went ahead and bought the nail drill. So I bought the nail drill and I bought two little bits. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing portion of the video. So the first thing I want to unbox is this here. Our little bits that I bought. I didn't buy like the whole collection just because I didn't feel like I needed them because I do have my staple bits I do like to use. But I did want to buy this one which is the Typhoon bit because they say it's like really good for when you're having to file down, file down a lot of product. And I just got another small barrel, the fine purple carbide bit. I do have the silver ones that I get from um, Pana, but I did want to try the Kiara Sky one out. Because I like the fact it's purple. Alright. And then let me give a little end reasoning into why I want to get this bit, I mean this drill specifically. I wanted to buy this drill because although I do love my Mia Secret drill, it's an amazing drill. Like if you are a beginner... Start out with that drill because A, it's portable. B, the it does have a good amount of power behind it. It's not as high of a vibration as other drills. But what I find my biggest problem is, is that it takes me too long to file down the product. Um, and I was recommended that I try out this drill because a fellow technician said that it was a really great drill for taking out like a, 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 like a big amount or bulky product and they said they were able to do it in five or ten minutes whereas sometimes if like I was doing a redesign it could take me at least 20 minutes to be filing down the product alone and that's huge because you don't want to spend that much time filing down the product so that's something I will say but other than that I really do love my Melody Susie drill and I'm still going to keep it because you know I never know if this is going to break down on me at some time so I still definitely keep a backup of something so even though I got the new gel lamp as well, I'm still going to keep my old pink lamp because you all, even when you buy new things, you never know if, you have to, if something's going to break down, you have to send it off to be serviced and then you're going to need something to still be able to do your nails with. So always keep that in mind. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box here. I don't know about y'all, but I really don't like hauls where they talk through so much talking and they never get to the unboxing. You kind of feel like, well, dang, this could have been done in a short amount of time. So I'm going to see what this is. Okay, so did you have a warranty card? So one year limited manufacturer guarantee. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'll fill this out once I finish this video because I do want to make sure I have my warranty together. And this just kind of says well, like what's in here and all that stuff. How to use it. A full charge takes about two hours, which is the same for the Melody Studio Drill. Again, that's why I say I really do like it, but it's just that. And then the vibration is, there is definitely vibration on the Melody Suzy one. And this one feels, it's not, let's see. I do have my Melody Suzy drill right here. And comparison. Yeah, this one's a little bit longer. It feels, it, has, it feels like it has more product to it versus this one. Um, but still. They're kind of similar the way they are made, except my forward or reversed one is on the side and this one's up here. So that's interesting. All right, anyway. Moving on. So picking up the handpiece. And honestly, I was torn between which one I wanted to get. It was going to be between this one or the Valentino one. And I decided to go with this one. But I do love how like nice and like small the handpiece is. Because with my Melody Susie one, it is kind of bulky. Um, not like super bulky, but you guys can see the difference between the two here. This one's more slender, so I do like that. And I'm wondering if I can buy this handpiece separately because if that is the case, because you know sometimes you drop your handpiece. Um, I have, I try not to, but it's not, it does happen sometimes. So I do like that. And then I guess you put it in the same way you would. Oh, okay, so these, this actually has numbers on it. Sorry, guys. This actually has a number on it. Where it shows you like one, two, and one, two, three. It's how to line it up. So. And that's just basically kind of how you put it in there. And I do like that it comes with this, like the little um, stoppers here that sort of help with not getting the dust into the handpiece. So that's really nice. And you know what? This bit doesn't come with it, but this one does. So that's nice. But I think with these, you can actually take these off and put it on a different bit. So... And it does feel really heavy. Like, that feels like it's just all metal. Okay, and this is like a silicone piece. Wow, this is like... Oh, this is like really... Yeah, it's really durable. Can y'all hear that? Okay. And then I guess this is what goes on the side here. So I'm going to unplug the handpiece for now. And probably just set it back down in the box. For just a second. Yeah, so it looks like you can, oh, you can actually put it on either side, I believe. Let me see. I think so. Yeah, you can put it on either side. So either side should open up and allow you to put it, like just hook it in there like that. So that's interesting. Or does it go like that? So that's, that's fairly interesting, you guys. I do like that. You have an option on either side, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed. And then they did give... Oh, it's a fine crystal large barrel. Personally, I'm not a fan of the large barrel bits, just because they're kind of really big. Um, and they're just not my favorite, but... That is really cute. And it's a fine... Bit, so that's nice. And then... Oh, that's I like that's really cute. Like how they have the diamond in them. That's really, really cute. And this is a crystal mandrel bit so these are two that came in there along with the piece that you put in there whenever you're not using i think it's called the chuck all right and then this is like a little piece to hold your put your um what is it called to put your hand piece on and my melody susie one did come with one it's just purple so they kind of look the same for the most part. And this is not meant to be a comparison video, 
but I'm just telling you like based on what I have like what upgrades I can see already and then it does come with a little cord here so I will be sure to hold on to this I will label this as my drill cord because I just have so many but I'm really happy that basically I'm going to be completely cordless except for my daylight lamp and my Valentino dust collector so that's great so I think I will go ahead and give this a charge and I'll just leave this in the box for now and then we'll move on to the next thing so I'll be right back okay well for moving on to the next thing I figured you all would like to see that it does glow up so that's really really cute and as I mentioned before I did get the rechargeable battery pack and I bought this because this is, is going to be like a backup battery I can have charged so that I can switch the battery out in my lamp if like say if I forget to charge the night before but I already have this battery charged but I'm going to try to not to use this too much and really just focus on charging this battery so yeah but this is just emergency so I'm going to take this out to see how it looks so probably what I will do is just keep this one charged and like I said for emergencies but really just charge this lamp by itself first and then charge this one after the fact And I did get all white. Um, I know I had pink before for my other lamp, but I wanted the white because I did change around my brand a little bit. And the colors in my studio are going to be purple, silver, white, and then a little bit of black. So I kind of want to do that sort of a theme. So my box is a little bit like dented in. Hopefully, there's nothing's wrong with it. So and I just I'm just sliding it off. So, let's see here. Alright, so it looks like this. Okay, this is a charging thing. Can you do other stuff with it? Looks like this is here as well. I don't know what that is about. Okay. Or maybe this is how I'm supposed to plug it up. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to take this out real quick. Looks like this is all that it really came with. Down there. No, there's nothing else down there, so I don't know. I'm a little confused. Um, oh, the instructions are on the back. Alright, so charge it. One battery pack charging dock, and this does have a warranty as well for a year. Okay. So, all right, so don't place a battery in direct sunlight. Um, Don't use a different charger. Okay. So it looks like you really just plop it in there. So you have the positive and negative end. And then you really would just put it on down in there. Like so. So I will probably what I'm going to do is whenever I'm charging it, I'm going to use the charger from the lamp because it doesn't come with a charger in here. So I'm guessing they're expecting if you bought the battery, then you should have the lamp to be able to charge it. So I guess it makes sense. And this was $60, I believe. So that's good. All right, I'm just going to disassemble this real quick and then we'll move on to the next part of the unboxing. And now moving on to what I'm sure you all have been waiting for, the best for last. I'm going to be going in with the Beyond. I'm gonna not going. I'm going to be unboxing this real quick, and then um, with regards to the drill, I will do a demo of that whenever I have to do a product, like a bunch of filing down of product. 
So that'll be in a separate video at some different at a different time. Just because I haven't had any clients this last week, just because I've been closed down due to reorganizing and all that stuff. So yeah. Maybe just maybe do y'all all also like um the packaging they do? Like even with their dip kit, it was so pretty to me. So yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this up a little bit. So again, it's like the little magnetic sort of box. Or is it not? No, actually it's you right, where is it? Or you don't need to slide it up. Okay, it opens up differently. So it's going to open up this way. So I'm actually going to turn it around. Because there's actually a little care handle up here for it to carry it with. So that's cute. Alright. So. Here is the lamp. You guys are so excited about this. So let me come right back and I'll get it out. And then I'll show you all everything. Just to give you all a quick recap. So it does come with the user's manual. And it does come with another warranty card. So I'm just going to leave that in there. And again, like I said, I'll do my warranty as soon as this video is over. But I was reading and it does say for the operation instructions, it's best to charge when the battery is lower than 20% um, and the battery power indicator will flicker. So it means the, the battery is critically low and the lamp will not work. So I guess I understand why. Oh, and it shows you like it has different flashes here. To let you know like when you're at different sorts of power levels of power so that's interesting but also again i do understand why they tell you to do that because sometimes overcharging something is not bad i always say that this even with your phones if you're constantly charging it whenever it's like oh it got to like half percent you want to mess up your battery in your phone you should sometimes it's okay to actually let your phone die and then it'll charge it back up so just keep that in mind. But alright, so I'm guessing in here this is going to be this is look like, this is our charger. This is our adapter. I am gonna charge this as well before using it. So yeah. This is our adapter here. And then this is the lamp itself. It is very heavy. I'm going to be the first to tell you that it is very, very heavy. Um, but she's very, like, it's such a pretty lamp. And I like that it has a little handle here to carry it with. Then you'll see the timer back here. The client won't necessarily see the timer, which is fine me. Um, I know I was watching V nailed it, and she said it has, like, it kind of beeps. And I guess this is where you store your battery at. Yeah, more than likely, this is where the battery is stored, right back here. And you probably just like pop it out and then slide it in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on this part here. I'm wondering if I should, I probably should remove the blue portion. I'm just going to read what I can see. Yeah. This on the picture, you should be removing it. And you can even see that here. So the blue part is removed to expose this. See? So you're gonna slide it down here. I don't know if you all can, I think you all should see that. Like, see how I'm sliding it in? Yeah, down right down here. Just gonna slide it in like so. And then the magnetized piece, you should snap in place and it's not going anywhere. And then there we have it. I am going to turn it on just to see. Oh, yeah, it does beep. So let's see. It is warm in here. Okay. If a client moves around this a lot, I can see this could probably be annoying. I see what she's saying. But actually, I don't mind the beep because I feel like probably when it's done, it'll like beep at you and let you know. Because, you know, sometimes clients still, like, put their hand in there and then, like, they'll want to, like, pre like make the timer go again. You only need to go for a certain amount of time. Yep. So, it beeps to let you know when it's done. So, that's really nice. 
I like that. All right. So that's cool. And this is powered by LG, so no wonder why it's so, like, really nice. All right. So that can basically concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing. I apologize if it was long-winded or just, like, really long. But I was just, like, genuinely excited about receiving my products. So, yeah. Let me, got, let me know down below what you all would like to see from me um in future videos also let me know are you gonna get these products like are you gonna try them out like i really do want to know like if my reviews help you all in any way so let me know or are my unboxings help you all i'm making any decisions and then yeah so i said bye in the last clip but i actually forgot to mention something so if you all can see in there you can there's like little divots here and that's for your client to be able to place their hand properly in there so you can see where there's like the little indentions. You can even see on the back here. Okay. And then also on the back, this is where your time is displayed. And you have 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and the 90 second low heat mode. So I, you, normally I use a low heat mode if I'm doing like curing like a UV or like a builder gel. So that's when I would use that. But other than that, yeah, that's really it now. So I just wanted to come on and clarify that because I feel like I'd probably get a question re like regarding that. So yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one officially now. Like, I'm serious this time. So yeah, I hope you all, again, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.